Hi, I'm Peter Kageyama. I'm the author for The Love of Cities and the follow-up Love Where You Live. I talk about love and emotional engagement and why it's a good thing for people like you to fall in love with the city that they live in. And this is St. Pete in Progress. The fact that we have two new museums coming online within the next couple of years speaks volumes to the arts and cultural idea and the, the experience that we have here in St. Petersburg. We are a city of the arts. We've declared that and we paid it off. We've become that. Hi, this is Mayor Rick Kreisman and I am here today with Tom Magoulis, who is the Vice President of what will be the new uh, American Arts and Crafts Museum here in St. Petersburg. Correct, Museum of the American Arts and Crafts Museum. Museum of American Arts and Crafts. Uh, parking garage is right behind me and the architect for this beautiful new museum, Albert Alfonso. And we are here to talk about a really exciting project that is going to add to the vibrancy and the arts and culture scenery of this great city. And so Tom, let me start with you. I know Rudy, who is the mastermind behind all of this and is the major funder of this project. You guys had a lot of different places you could locate this museum, uh, but you chose to locate it here in St. Pete and we couldn't be more grateful. And I can't tell you, he's, he, he's uh, extremely excited about the project. He loves St. Petersburg. Uh, we see the, the museum is becoming an integral part, like an anchor, a cultural anchor of the city. These two museums are absolutely incredible. This really is a very significant thing in the history of St. Petersburg. Major, major museums that will have a huge impact not only on education, but also on tourism for the city and economic development in the neighborhoods that they're uh, surrounding. The Museum of the American Arts and Crafts Museum is very American in this period of time in American history uh, that was really focused on the craft movement. This movement again towards craftsmanship after this whole mechanization of the uh, industrial age. It is showing a collection of American arts and crafts which is sort of turn of the century and sort of you know weighing in a little bit into the 1920s maybe. There's Furniture, there is pottery, there is tiles, there is lighting, lighting, metalworks. Metal it is 137,000 square feet. Wow. Um, it has 40,000 square feet of galleries, and it's all sort of situated on, on different floors. We have this, this pretty wide variety uh, of art. And you say, well, you know, how does uh, how does a Western Museum end up here? Well, it's because Tom, Tom James is a fan. There's a huge interest in Western art, um, and it's ingrained in Americans' DNA. And from a tourism perspective, it's fascinating to anybody from, coming from the UK or Europe or China or any of our other tourism markets to see something that is so American and to see it in its completeness here in St. Petersburg. Sometimes it's the right person, it's the right people at the right place at the right time, and now all of a sudden, you know, you have, uh, you have a surrealist movement, you have glass, you have a Western art, you have a craft movement. So sometimes it starts with like one really passionate person or a small group of passionate people who take that and they go, wow, and other people get inspired. And all of a sudden now, look at all this great stuff that we have here. Obviously, we have some incredible assets already with the Dali, the MFA, Chihuly, some incredible artists here as well, and an ongoing commitment by the city to, to find more of that. We are certainly at a time here in St. Petersburg where uh, our arts and culture community uh, is more alive than it's ever been. For a city to, to have one museum, which is under construction now, but then to have a second museum of this caliber. It will be certainly the biggest concentration of major museums anywhere in the state of Florida and perhaps even in the southeast. You've been watching St. Pete in Progress. The sun shines here.